I've already met this guy. Yeah, you won't be, you won't be that happy. <clears throat> this guy's like in his freaking bed of uh, being kept alive <laughs> by computers and speaking only via hologram. He is like he is like a hair's breadth away from death for the last hundred and twelve years. Of course, you got to say this is him drinking something, and I almost spit it out everywhere. <laughs> a hair's a hair's breath away. Yes, Voss is ecstatic. Voss is he is delighted to see you, and and as glitter, as you enter the room, he sees the staff that glitter is is uh, you know wielding now. And his eyes just on, on the holographic image, and you can actually see that his eyes are twitching on a, on his corpse. Well, his body that's his corpse, <laughs> his body that is lying in the you know the, the the life shell that he lives in. And he says, "Oh, the staff." He goes, uh, "Yeah, it, it, it is. It is great to see that uh, you guys are back so soon." Uh, uh, excuse me, and he, you know he starts to you know straighten his hair up a little bit. I I, I wasn't I wasn't expecting you back so soon, but you know um, images on on radar said that the ship was uh, uh, approaching again, and and it seems like you've caught me uh, not at my best time, and I and I apologize about that, but and you know he kind of he walks you to another area of the lab. And you guys sit down at like a like a like a circular round table, and Ocker, you know, he he leaves the room all with the other guards as well, and Voss, it looks like he sits down in this chair, and he's very very excited. You can just tell that he's very delighted to see you guys. But, but Dave, that's his hologram. Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, his hologram is excited. He, he, yeah, uh, but as you were walking past his his body lying on the bed, you could see that yeah, his, his eyes, eyes twitching. were twitching and stuff, and yeah, and his, his hand was kind of twitching a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, nothing and, like having seizures of excitement. No, like definitely, it, it definitely wasn't seizures, Worm. You, you're into your your uh, sorry on his intelligence intelligent enough to know that that was definitely not a seizure. Probably just acts of, uh, you know, probably seeing you and seeing the staff was probably just uh, enlightened and and uh, actually made him happy. So, all right. But no, it wasn't seizures. So he sits down, you sit down, and, and he is, he says, oh, I am all ears. No pun intended, well, you know, with my race and all. But, you know, a little bit of a joke there. He says, please, regale me with the tales of your adventure inside of the Skyside Stronghold. I, I, I wish to hear how you acquired the staff. Well, I'm sure that you're quite shocked that I'm the one that's holding the staff right now. I mean, you know, uh, instead of Lester the Great, mm. with his heroic bloodline. <laughs> it, it, it's, not, it's not disappointing, Litter, I assure you. Maybe we got off on a wrong foot, I guess you could say. But Glitter, there was reasons why that I said what I had said for a reason. When you come barging into my Voss headquarters, and you are the starlet of Voss headquarters, or so you think you were, like I said, maybe we got off on the wrong foot, acquainted with one another. Well, time will tell. Time yeah. will tell. It will. Mr. Voss, I'll tell you Yes, all. my friend Lester. It was incredibly dangerous. Yeah, started, it was. There was this humongous clock that we had to stand on. I'm sure my two best stuff. recruits from the last class have just graduated, Thomas and Grimrack. I, I, I'm, sure uh, I'm sure that they probably served you well. Well, they were all right. They yes, sir. Of course. Stuff. Mm. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll write a full report. Um, oh, there, uh, there are no reports needed for this, Grimrock. I, uh, this is something personal. This does not need to involve well, protocol. Secret. This does not need to involve Voss headquarters in any way. Well, we're very happy to help, of course, sir. And uh, uh, looking forward to uh, serving you again. Well, well. I am glad to hear that. So, Lester, please 
indulge yourself a story i am all ears i i cannot wait to hear the these tales because where we left off uh it things weren't going so bright and and that is why I, you know sent along grimrack and thomas seems uh, the tides were turned when they joined you as the tides did turn Good, continue i'm sorry for interrupting you again so so uh, when we started we landed in the place just just like the last time all the stuff we destroyed before was still destroyed we sit moseyed on through the breezeway. Then, then it was scary. Ooh, amazing! We went to a. We went to a, Yeah, <laughs> we found an area that we broke through, and we had to spell all kinds of letters before we could advance to the next area, which was a giant pyramid. Wow, and you you what, met were, no resistance at all, Skyside? Well, nothing that we really challenged us. Oh, I see. I'll, I'll, tell you, mm. I'll, I'll tell you what we did find. You I are... had to stop my Lester because I, I end up spitting all over my monitor and it's too hard to clean up. So I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I, I'm kind of leaning up. So, um, so uh, one of the things that we did find that was interesting is we found a lot of intricate ruins and we found this picture. And I, I'd like to show Dave, or I'd like to show uh, Voss, Dave. Mm -hmm. The uh, the picture, but I don't know. Do I show it up to his sure. dead body? Do I you show, show it to, to to the hall. To, to oh, okay. to, he he takes a look at the at the picture and he goes, "Ah, oh, that is uh, Anon Reed. That is uh, one of my friends from the Chaos Wars." Oh, got some bad news for you. <laughs> we we regret to inform you that we also found his his body. Uh, uh, well, he would, he would have been all right, except I think Thomas hit him with a stick and broke his arm. No, so he was quite dead. He was already asleep in the Arnon was was uh, at Skyside. Well, to tell you a little bit of history about that, uh, Arnon Reed did build Skyside stronghold. So everything was uh, made by him, designed by him. Every all of the uh, electrical intricacies, all of the programming, was all done by Arnon. You see, so I guess uh, we, we we had no clue after the war. Skyside was built to house the staff, and after the you know Skyside was built for the staff, uh, the last thing we knew that uh, Arnon had taken the staff to Skyside. And we had not heard from him since. So I had figured, you know, over over all of this time, and with Arnon being a human, you know, humans don't live the amount of time, say, the dwarves and the elves do. So I, I kind of put two and two together to figure out Arnon was probably dead by now. But, you know, his family did grieve for quite a long time. But the, uh, the way that he died was pretty odd. It was stretched oh, really? out. His... his, his uh, his uh, skeleton hand was stretched out and holding the base of the staff, and there was blood everywhere. So, I don't mm. know. To me, it looked a little bit like maybe he was trying to teleport back by pulling the staff, or maybe he was putting the staff in, and maybe somebody backstabbed him, or, or maybe he was bleeding and died and then fell that way, mm. but uh, you know, it was kind of odd that not only did he die by holding the staff, that over the last X amount of years, nobody has touched the staff or moved his body since. I, I see it amazing that Lester, your your sorry on Lisp is is gone. But anyways, uh, sorry. Keith. Well, the way that Arnon uh, he designed the uh, device to hold the staff, the apex, he designed it in a way that only the blood of a hero from the Chaos Wars would be able to free the staff from the Apex. So, you said that... That was that... my blood, Dave! That was my blood, boss! Ah, that was your so blood? I'm a hero. And, uh, uh, it I looks want to turn around as it looks to be that individually one. ...individually at every single one of the people in our group mm. as I slowly repeat, Yes, I'm the hero! Well, it seems like the his one that security told you features to do it. did not work properly, uh, <laughs> Mr. Voss. Excuse me, Grimrack. What was that? I said it assumes. I uh, it seems that the security features were not working properly. Uh, no, actually, it, you said that 
he was holding the staff? He, he was, was, yes. Well, that means that he did not have the blood of the hero. He was not able to lodge the staff from the apex. But Only the Lester's blood of a blood healer. did work. And so that mm -hmm. uh, something have, must have had malfunctioned. <laughs> oh no! I, uh, I'm sure that uh, the all of the algorithms and and mathematics and all that gargan that uh, Arnon was into. I, I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that Lester does have the blood of the hero. So, if he was able to free the staff, uh, then then Lester does have the blood of the hero. So now the only thing is Lester. You need to find out how you were associated. How how were your ancestors involved in the Chaos Wars? There's there's much to learn about your background, Lester. Much I to know, learn. I'm, I'm very involved. I'm very intrigued. Well, now now, Grimrak. I I I remember. Uh, I said that under my voice. I just I real down, down, looked down and mm. kind of mumbled that. I don't think he heard. Uh, I let's do. Yeah, I, I definitely. Arnon Reed hears everything. Remember, he is a hologram. His all of his senses are are heightened, and, and he just kind of looks at you, Grimrak, and he says, "Well, I, I remember reading about your past, Grimrak, and I remember in your files, uh, but I, I will exclude from hearing that, Grimrak." And he just kind of looks over at you and says that in in front of every in front of everyone. I, I straighten up and I keep my mouth shut. <clears throat> but yes. Uh, it, it it seems that uh, Lester has the blood of the blood of the heroes. I I, I please please tell me more. Uh, uh, what else happened in in, in the Skyside stronghold? It, it seems I I'm I'm actually shocked that Arnon Reed was there. I'm glad he was there instead of somewhere else or being kidnapped or uh, tortured or you know uh, maybe he went mad maybe he after he had put the the staff into the apex maybe he regretted it maybe he tried to maybe he wanted the maybe he wanted the staff for him himself but Arnon just did not have the the blood of of the hero the only way that we knew that it was Arnon is because he had this hand glove with this partial finger set up, like it was a yes. robot hand. Yes, he, he uh, unfortunately, he actually almost lost all of his hands at the early part of the Chaos Wars. And he actually designed that glove for himself to, you know, have the, the workings of all of his extremities again. He was, I believe he was missing three fingers. I think he was just. I think he had his pinky and his and his fourth finger, fourth index, whatever it's called. And he he was missing his thumb, his index finger, and his middle finger, his birdie finger. <laughs> he was missing three fingers. <laughs> so he built the glove. Thomas, were your skills needed? Uh, they needed me to take out a few of these zombie cyborg things that were being made. There were cyborgs being created inside of Skyside? Um, there was three of them that came out of tubes. It looks like the others failed or something else happened. Interesting. We're not entirely sure. Pretty much hmm. as soon as we entered the room and flipped a switch, they came out. I don't. Re I don't remember seeing in any of the the plans for Skyside on on any kind of creation of of, of anything inside Sky Skyside. That's 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 weird. Hey, I might want to uh, upload my uh, the plans that we retrieved from the place, so sure. folks can uh, can take a take a look at what we saw. So let me just pull out my uh, my device, my handheld, and upload into his matrix the. Uh, plans that we saw. Upload into his blogosphere? Very good. That's right. And I want to I wanna just point out to you, Mr. Voss, that the um, I just wanted to say, Mr. Voss, that there was a, a whole bunch of plans, but the things that, the areas that were um, holding the staff, they never showed up on the map. But there ah, was the a factory, as Thomas talks about, there was a factory that, that came into being and started uh, reactivating, reanimating, and its its goal was to make some some half meat, half mechanical beasts 
I see that uh, as I'm, I'm, I'm looking through the plans now, and it looks like automatons were created, and also these cyborgs. Interesting. I wonder why Ardon Reed had uh, configured this uh, to, to be a, a producing factor as well. I think he was maybe scared that somebody was going to come in and take the staff. It could be but for then he security went purposes. To make a lot of automatons first. He waited until after we got there and then started mm. building them. Or maybe maybe he died. Maybe he was. Uh, you know, I know that there was a security feature that also involved uh, gaining access to the the staff's tomb itself. So maybe maybe he had been locked in. I I just I just do not know. I find it interesting that the majority of the uh, area was both a combination of technology as well as magic. How did you get into the tomb? Is this, is this what you're talking about, Lester? About technology getting into the tomb? Absolutely. Well, that's, Actually, that's I had to use his blood. blood at one point to get into the uh, inner chambers there. Ah, d did you say you used your blood glitter? No, I said I used his. Oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, so you, ha oh, you had to use the hero's blood again, ah, Lester. Yes, uh. as a matter of fact, I had to open so many doors, I felt a little dizzy. <laughs> I see that. It, well, I, I, never mind. <clears throat> so, now that you guys have, all of you have come back, you are all, uh, and, and I'm sorry about your, your other friends, uh, they're still recovering from injuries. And uh, hopefully they will be able to awaken from their injuries. They they sustain grave injury, um, and hopefully uh, they'll be able to, to come out of that. So now that you've told, now that you have the staff, I will tell you a little bit some important information that uh, now that you deserve to hear, and I, I will tell all of you this. Now, as you know, I I, I did live through the Chaos Wars, and it was a very long, bloody battle. I remember the turning point. You know, this is this is when Arnon Reed started to create scientific machines that helped us win. You know, his designs and Arnon Reed was even though he did not have the blood of a hero, he was revered with the utmost respect of not only myself but the other races as well. And because of his designs, thankfully they were on our side. You know, the prophet forces they eventually collapsed. And you know, as you know, take nothing from the prophet Darwin. She was very powerful. She was very terrible. You know, she was charismatic. She was a charismatic, uh, you know, charismatic leader with her people. You know, she was the master strategist or strategist. You know, she was the very soul of what was foul and evil of the Chaos Wars. You know, she came up with all of these machines of war and these diseases and plagues that decimated the, the orc, the elves, the humans, all of the, the races involved. You know, and she was, she was beautiful. You know, something so beautiful was so chaotic. And she, she had the staff. And the staff made her powerful. And, you know, the staff is what gave her all of this power. Hmm. We had to get the staff away from her. You know, e even though that she was only seen just a handful of times, you know, just several times on the battlefield, you know, it was, uh, she always kept evading us for some for some reason so the only time that we started to see her more often is when we started driving her forces back and that's when she started getting onto the battlefield and it was you know the the final confrontation was it was I was there Arnon was there it was it was a a blood fest you know the air trembled the dead came to life. The, I mean, the smell of death permeated all around you. You could almost taste the death in the air. You know, the sky was was raining blood. And and luckily that day, even though so many of us were killed, we came out on top. So we had to, you know, 
the prophet was dead or so the legends say I will say this the prophet is not dead she what? is she is alive everything that you were told when you were children they're all lies the prophet Darwin is alive I, I assure you well what what kind of evidence do you have that the prophets alive well as I as I said I was there for the final battle Arnon was there for the final battle and as we struck her down after you know waging war and, and, and wading through the the bodies up to our waist and blood just raining in the air we struck her down and we got the staff from her well we wanted to kill her I wanted to kill her but several others wanted to keep her alive but keep her and the staff separated so we put her in a tomb you know all of her power was stripped she was powerless you know we knew that all of her power channeled through that staff as long as she didn't have it in her hand as long as she wasn't gripping the staff she was she was she you know always at her weakest point so we separated her from it and we imprisoned her and locked her away from the world we locked her in an extra dimensional prison and so do you think that uh, that she can escape that prison and she's gonna come after us because we have well, the staff well we did not think that uh, especially with uh, Arnon's design I mean, this was a sort of like a I guess you could call it a pocket universe and that's why everything was separated so far away from one another you know you the staff being you know hundreds of miles away so you know we had seen so much death everyone we just didn't want this to happen away so we locked her up away and we wanted her to suffer for eternity for what she had done to all of us to all of mankind so we wanted her to suffer but we know for a fact I can sense it that she is starting to gain her strength again and all of you yes even you glitter you have all of you have the blood of the hero glitter if I know we got off on the on the wrong foot you know but you know I, I, I will take part blame in this as well but you will not be able to wield that staff if you did not have blood of the hero so why did you say that I did not well, because you came barging into my home, into my headquarters, stinking up the place with your... And, and I don't mean, you know, I'm, I'm speaking, saying figuratively here. You come in here like you own the place, and you just waltz right in making all these demands. Of course, I'm not going to tell you, and I'm not going to... So, yes, basically, we got off on the wrong foot, like I said. Grimrack and Thomas... Why do you think your scores were so good? Why do you think you finished top of the list? When you first enlisted Cheater. for the Voss headquarters and the Voss military, we do blood tests on you. We knew that you had blood of the heroes. We didn't tell you that. We knew that you were going to finish at the top just because of your skills alone and because you do possess the blood of the heroes. So all four of you are the heroes that I thought you were. You got the staff, and now... I need you to kill the prophet. I need you to go to Reed Manor and kill the prophet once and for all. She has suffered long enough, but now her suffering needs to come to an end. And you are the ones that will be able to do it. I'll do it, Dave. I'll do it, boss. Who who is who is Dave? Dave's my uh, invisible friend. We won't let you down, Mr. Voss. And I just glare at Lester. Brown nose! <laughs> <laughs> but it's certainly something that we can look into. Mm. Uh, hopefully we're as capable as you say we are in you are. the private. 
Of I course. Just to point out that I've got more blood than everybody, so that means I'm the most heroic. <laughs> well, see, Lester, that also means I can kill you, and you'll be plenty more heroic blood for me to use than you do. <laughs> you you <laughs> all combated her strength. All of you, you know, if if you did not have the blood of the hero, you would have died on the apex. You know, the the, the blood is of the heroes is flowing through all of your veins. Well, these heroes got around. Um, and th this is why chaos needs to be put down before it rises once more. You know, it, it this this chaos is beginning to stir. You know, it is beginning to stir. You know, if if we do not kill the prophet Darwin, the lands will soon be rifled and in discord once again. You, know, you 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 remember encountering those Hellions, do you not? Well, oh, those yeah. are those are creatures of chaos. They have not been seen in centuries. So, there you go. Oh. Chaos is starting to make its appearance again. So I, out of character, it's it's not that I think, Lester. It is that I know. Uh, or out of character, I'm already thinking that oh, the Lester's gears are grinding, knowing mm -hmm. his ultimate I, goal. I yeah. do, but the prophet uh, it doesn't work for my. I'm even though I'm Saurian, I I'm also like technology. So the 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 prophet was all about magic and the fight against uh, technology, from what I remember in the from the lore. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wish you had that right. Yeah. Well, the, the so, prophet has found a way to influence the world once more, and bringing these Hellions back was just one way. So you need to go to her prison, because if she breaks free, the chaos wars they will start all over once again, and we cannot have this, and 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 this cannot come to pass. Well, well who else knows this? Who else knows about this prophet being imprisoned in a? Uh, an I'm the only tomb? one left that is alive. Why do you think that I have been preserved? Why do you think my my body, my lifeless body is in this bed? Why do you think I am projecting or being projected as a holographic image in front of you right now? I was just thinking you were afraid of death. I'm not afraid of death. I cannot, I cannot wish to leave this world. But I cannot leave the world until I know that the prophet is dead. And when, and I know that all four of you, hopefully, and in fact I do know that all four of you will kill the prophet, then I can leave. I think we need to do a an an, an 80s jump for joy and just stick there. Let's do it. Let's go after him. I'm glad uh, that you see things like that. So what you're going to need to do is travel to Arnon Reed's manor. His family is all of dead, all but dead. They have been dead for many of years. His little girl passed away years ago as an old woman. His wife passed away. In fact, his, his wife almost went mad because of her loss of Arnon. The manor, there were no relatives to take the manor over, and the, the, the manor was lost in time. The manor was beautiful, but it was just lost in time. So you need to go to the prison. The prison is at the manor. And you need to make sure you quell this chaos before it rises once more. So you said uh, she away. You? She ahead. is. But two things, Mr. Voss. How do we access the prison, and then how do we kill her? If you well, aren't able to do so, um, how can we succeed? I could not physically. If I, if I could have, Grimrock, I, I would have. But I am hundreds of years past the, the oldest living elf here on, in, in our world. But you must go to Arnon Reed's old mansion. It is on a mountain called Moon Perch. And I will open up our map. Here you go. As you can see, the pointer is at Moon Perch right now. You guys are in Nestora. 
so you can see it is a uh, east and south quite a while you know quite a ways hundreds of miles away from Nestora moon perch is the site of where Arnon Reed's mansion is and I do know this you need to find the nightberry bush at the base of the ledge you cannot just simply walk up to the manor this bush is a teleportation pad that will take you to the gatehouse and then inside of the mansion you can find the tomb you have to have the staff to get inside of the tomb of the prophet Darwin has been locked away for centuries and she is weak but she is gathering her power so we must strike now or all Volcana will pay the price once more with another chaos wars we cannot do that so whatever you need I will provide it for you for your journey to the mansion do you think our chances of survival here? I think they are pretty strong, Glitter. I mean, you are, you are a hero. About the Avatar. All of you need to, you know, once this is all over, all of you need to do some researching on your backgrounds. All of you need to find out. I cannot. I do not know. All I know is that you all have the blood of the hero, but you for your personal satisfaction need to find out how and why you have the blood of the hero alright guys looks like we've got a, a quest before us mm -hmm. to all of ancestry.com glitter we won't. lester your names have been cleared you will have no problems at all in this store sweet excellent news Yes, the the guilds dare not even come your way anymore, or they will feel uh, the hammer of Voss headquarters come down upon them. That's very that's very generous of you, Mr. Voss. We we won't let you down, and <laughs> and this if guy. we die trying to kill the prophet, it will be. It will be an honor to do so. Well, this guy with just put it this way, Grimrack. If you fail, the world will go back into another chaos war. And then you, your loved ones, or any children that you may have in the future will never live. Thomas, you're, you're so quiet sitting over there. Thomas, are, 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 you, are you nervous? Not nervous, more thinking on how to find the information that I'm going to need at this point. It's going to be tricky for me. For what? To find out your heritage? Exactly. Well, I'm sure that we could probably help you out so with any resources that you need here at Voss headquarters on, upon your return. I have a book on losers. You can thumb through that. So rude. All right. Well, I say, I Lester, think I don't really actually, Lester, heroes don't speak to other heroes like that. In fact, Ooh. heroes don't speak to anyone like that. Oh, sorry, Ooh. Mr. Voss. I've been schooled, Lester. I am. Sorry, Mr. Voss. But kiss, but kiss. Show some respect, fish face. Exactly. So like I said, if you need any kind of equipment, let me know. If you have enough battery power, I will supply it for you. If you, if you need any kind of we'll any kind of ship. rifles or, or pistols, anything you need. We need a ship, we'll, like we'll we had before. A flying ship. You can use my personal vessel. You may use it once again. It's not like I'm going to be going anywhere. <laughs> and he just kind of chuckles a little bit. Hologram humor. And in fact, once this is all over you may have my vessel because I will no longer need any of this Dibs.
And in fact, I'm sure if you put a little bit of elbow grease into it, I think what you humans say, or maybe the dwarves, I can't remember if it was the dwarves or the humans, but maybe you could even put a little bit of elbow grease into, into a reed manor and claim it as your own. It was very beautiful at one time. That could be our secret hangout. It could be. Well, I could definitely turn it into a, a, a grandiose stage for my performances. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you could. Yeah, let's do something now. So take a, take a little bit of time. Take tonight to eat yourself some good meals. Get cleaned up. And uh, tomorrow morning, make your way for Moon Perch. Sounds exciting. Do you have any cheesecake? I'm I sure. Like cheesecake. I'm sure there are some in the in the cafe. One of the many cafes that we have here at at Voss headquarters. And of course, you know all of your expenditures. Uh, you do not have to spend anything. Everything is will be on comp here. Considering this may be our last night, I would suggest we live it up. Ah, uh, glitter! Up. You are short selling yourself. You have the blood of the hero. You will be fine. I'll be yeah, better clear. once I find that. I'll even be better once I find that, uh, that gnome that I met not too That long special right someone? Now. What gnome? <laughs> what gnome do you speak of, Glitter? Oh, just someone I met in town. She calls him Action <laughs> Jack. I don't know why. Ac Action Jack, huh? I don't even think I want to know. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Trust me. Nothing like gnome loving. Uh, once you go gnome, you never gnome. go home. <laughs> That's it, baby. All right, so you guys uh, need any equipment? What do you do? You need anything before you can guys I, make the trip to Moon Perch? This trip, Dave, or can we? Uh, can I look through my character and then decide for next time? Uh, well, if you guys, wise. you guys can go ahead and make uh, that decision now, because we we will stop playing once you guys you know decide to. Head to Marine, per Marine Perch the next morning. We'll pick up next session there. So yeah, if you don't mind, I want to look through the equipment sure. and, and do a little more thought. Now that we have sure. two different kinds mm -hmm. of people in the group, I normally spec to just kind of support and stuff. I want to see if there's something equipment I can get that'll help me um, be a little a little different of a makeup here. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that uh, off stream. Sure. So you guys turn in for the night. You get all of the equipment that you need. Oh, I'm getting lots of equipment. You get to eat. They even have some. They even have a tech on duty glitter that can make you some more glitter cannons. I'm telling you, oh, I, I didn't snap. fire any glitter cannons. Mm -hmm. You the did last not. Couple of times, I, I've got, I'm gonna be firing, firing them like a champ. I got lots of them. Thomas and Grimrack, uh, please feel free to uh, take anything you need from the quartermaster on your way out, and I wish you luck, and I will see you upon your return. And then the hologram image of Voss fizzles out. Oh, wow. That's that poor old man. He's lived well beyond his years. <laughs> he is. So that's where we'll stop for this session. And is everybody ready to go next Saturday? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. No All right. Here. Well, I had fun today. It was super. We were getting done about an hour early, too. So you guys did a hell of a job. Good job on that. Uh, puzzle guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, I did. that was fun dave we I need more learn. we need you more exciting a, stuff you, you, you did a really good job with that day oh, yeah thanks. it was nice uh sorry for needing a couple of hints there but once you got us going uh, yeah, i blame grimrack for that it was definitely lester's fault